In this video, we're going to look at using the vocabulary builder function on an accent device. The vocabulary builder function is a feature which you can use to restrict the vocabulary available on your device in order to be able to model and teach specific or target vocabulary. It's also a way to be able to minimize the vocabulary at different times so as not to overwhelm someone who is learning the device and the vocabulary. Vocabulary Builder is the feature that is available in our Unity sequenced vocabulary files. It's also available in our LAMP Words for Life vocabulary file on an accent. However, it looks a little bit different. Today, we're going to go through how Vocabulary Builder works in the Unity sequenced file. First, we need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner and in the side menu, you'll see Vocabulary Builder. What you will see here in the yellow icons are that there are a number of different sets of activities that have already been created. We've got some for play activities, some for home based activities, some for school based activities and the option to build your own set of words. Essentially each of these sets have vocabulary that relates to these particular activities. For example, if I choose bubbles, I will have available a set of vocabulary that I could use in a bubbles activity. However, other words that wouldn't relate to a bubbles activity would be masked or hidden. I'm going to choose bubbles to show you. Now this is what my vocabulary looks like. I'm going to have words like I. I will have words like catch, catch the bubbles. Um, I might have words like like and fun and other words that I would be able to use. Play, little or a little bubble in a bubbles activity. If I was to go back into Vocabulary Builder and turn this masking off, I now have the full set of vocabulary again, and you will see those words are in exactly the same place. Before we saw play and little, however, the rest of this vocabulary was hidden. If I go back into Vocabulary Builder, you can see that there's the option to merge Word Finder merge a keyboard or merge some pages. This means that in one of these activity sets you can also add either the word finder, the keyboard or some specific pages that you might want to. Alternatively you could merge some sets. For example if I was doing a morning activity which included bubbles and blocks I would be able to merge these two sets together. If I hit merge set, I like bubbles, merge set, and blocks. Now I've got both of these sets of words in here available. I still have play and I still have little, but now I might have some other words in here that would relate more. On for a block activity or off, up and down, which we could use in both a block activity or a bubble activity. So as you can see, you can join some of the pre-made sets that are already available in our vocabulary builder. I'm going to turn the masking back off again. If you don't want to use one of the pre-made sets, you do have the ability to create your own list of words which you would like available. We can do this by choosing spell to make a set. What we'll see here on the left hand side with the yellow background are all the words that are currently available on my vocabulary. On the right hand side on the grey background, these are all of the words that are currently hidden or unavailable on my vocabulary. I'm going to mask all of the words so that I can start with a blank slate. Now all of the words in the vocab are hidden and there are no words available. 
I'm going to spell to unmask down the bottom. And here I'm going to type in some words that I would like available and separate them by commas. I might work words, want words like go, stop, up, down, help. I may really have a favourite pet dog. Perhaps I really like apples. So I'm going to include some core words and some fringe words in here as well. More. I might have finished. I might have like. That, all words that I could use in a number of different activities. As you can see, now I have on the left hand side the sequences for those words that I've typed in. And if I press OK down in the bottom right hand corner, now I only have access to those particular words. Words like like, yep, that, yep. Up and down. These are all the words that I typed in. If I've realized that there are some extra words that I'd like to program that I've forgotten, it's easy to go back into the vocabulary builder, back into spell to make a set, back into spell to unmask, and add another word in there that I perhaps forgot to put in. Maybe I forgot my cat. Dog and cat now. Again, to turn off Vocabulary Builder, go back to my Vocabulary Builder menu and turn my masking off so that now all of my vocab is available to explore. If I want to save the list of words that I have programmed in, I can do that as my own set of words in Vocabulary Builder. First, turn the masking on. Check that these are the words that I would like. Here's my list with my animals, cat and dog, like, that, up and down, more. Looks right to me. So I'm going to go into Vocab Builder, back into Spell to make a set, and down the bottom, I'm going to save as sequence set. It will ask if I could name this sequence. I might have first words and press OK. This is now saved as a sequence set. If I go into advanced options, I will find use sequence set. And in here, I could load a sequence set. There are a number of different sequence sets in here, ones that you may have seen available on that very first page. And if I select more items, I should be able to find the set that I've created and saved called First Words amongst other sets available. Those sequence sets again are available under Advanced Options in your Vocabulary Builder menu. The final option that I would like to show you is masking on the fly. This presents the vocabulary and shows me what's hidden, but also what I've currently got available. So I've got my sequence set available. Perhaps I forgot to include the word you. In masking on the fly, I can now choose what I would like to unmask. By selecting that particular sequence, I know that the word work is under the hammer. So I might select work as something I'd like available. And as you can see, now it's highlighted, it will be available. And perhaps I also forgot to program play. Now that's also available. I'm going to go select at the top. And now those words are also work, also play, and you are now all available. This is a handy tool if you're familiar with the vocabulary and would like to add specific words in as you go. 
again. If you go back to vocabulary builder, you can turn masking off to go back to the 